Hello my friends, I'm Wavy and here we're continuing our modding tutorial for a Stalker Anomaly with Outfit Creation. In the last video I showed you guys how to create a weapon, modify its values, and give it a custom name and description. If you haven't seen that video, I highly suggest you do. I'm going to be doing a lot of the same process in here as well, but I won't be going into as much detail as I did before. Again, keep in mind this is a bit technical, so some computer experience is required. I will also be using Notepad++ for this, which you can find online here. So today, I'm going to be creating a new suit, modeled after an existing one of course, and editing some of its properties. Afterwards, I'll also be showing you how to add the suit to a trader's inventory, so you can buy it in the game. But let's stop wasting time and get right into it. So we still have our workspace from last time with our anomaly install folder here, and our mods folder here. If you are starting from scratch, you want to make these folders. The Anomaly 151 folder here should contain your Anomaly install. And the Mods folder you can make. Inside here, we will, of course, create a new file. And we can name this whatever we like. I'm going to call it this. We will be working with the Nomad Stalker suit today. Now, we need to find our files and set up a structure like we did last time. So let's back out to our Anomaly 151 install. Go to the Tools folder. If you don't have your unpacked folder, you can hit the DB Unpacker batch file, double F mouse click on that. Then inside here, we're gonna go to configs. From there, we're gonna go to items. Then we're gonna go to outfits. And we are looking for O Explorer. And we wanna make the same file structure we have here, right, configs, items, outfits, in our mods folder. But we first start with the game data folder. After that, we will add the configs, then items, oops, items, <laughs> outfits, and then we can simply copy our file over. Copy and paste. We will also be grabbing the text files to give us a custom name, so we will go back to our unpacked folder to the configs, go to text, whichever localization you have, and then we're looking for st items outfit there it is again same deal here we want to create the same file structure in our add-on so we have the configs then we're going to make the text from there the localization mine will be english so we will do the eng and from there we copy the file over just like that the last thing we need is our trader file so let's go look for that back in the unpack folder we're going to go to configs then we're going to look in items trade now there is a lot of items in here if you wanted this item in every trader's inventory you need to add it to all of them but for this we're just going to give it to stupid Sidorich. so let's take the trade stalker Sidorich file and again so we have to go to our add-on folder here we have game data configs items we need to make a trade folder inside here and then copy the file over just like that so now we have our add-on all set and structured. Remember to keep it all the same like this. We're gonna go ahead and open each of our files in Notepad++. Okay, and there are our three files all loaded up. So the first one we're gonna look at is the oexplorer.ltx. That is the file for our suit. The file structure is similar to the weapons, just with different parameters. Again, I'm not gonna explain everything here, but I'm gonna go through quite a bit of it. Right here at the top of our file, we see that there is the Nomad Outfit entry. Now, this is the one we're going to use for our add-on. We're going to model it after the Nomad Stalker suit. So we're going to go down to the bottom here. We're going to copy all of this, including the end of line header at the top. We will copy. Then we're going to scroll to the bottom of the file. We're going to go down to the very bottom, give it one space, and paste all of that right there. Again, this is gonna need unique identifiers, so it's pretty simple. Inside these brackets here, the Nomad Outfit, we're gonna append an underscore one. We will also do the same for this block here, this section Nomad Outfit Immunities, we'll add an underscore one to this. Cool, so let's go ahead and modify our values. A lot of this stuff we're not gonna mess with, we will get to the names in a second, but we're gonna start here at the cost line. This is normally 67,000, and that's a little bit expensive. We want to rip Sidrovich off, so we're going to make this a nice, cool 5,000. I'm not going to mess with the weights. 
or the artifact count. If you did want to make this have more artifact slots, this is the value you would want to modify. Just do keep in mind the upgrade schemes, right? If your upgrade scheme allows you to increase your artifact slots and you make this five by default, well, you're not going to be adding any extras and you may in fact break something. I don't know. There is this immunity section, which we want to change. Remember, we added an underscore one to this immunity section here. We want to match that as well right here in the file. Now we're going to get into the protection factor. So all these values here. We're going to start with this one, the bones coef protection. Now, a lot of these values are going to vary in terms of what they actually reflect in game. Of course, this value here, you have to actually know which one you want to put there. So this is where we do like we did with the weapons. We're going to go back to our items folder in the unpacked, go to the outfits, and we're going to find a couple to use as examples. I'm going to pull up two here. I'm going to use the OC Sky. I'm just going to open that up in Notepad. I will put that in the top corner of the screen. And then I will do the O Exoskeleton. And we're going to put that in the bottom right of the screen. We will then open up our Notepad++. We have that, our two text files. And now we can look and compare at all these different factors. So this value right here actually controls the ballistics protection, the armor. So when you get hit by a bullet, this factor is going to control how much damage you will take. The values can be all these different class ones. I think it goes from like one to five. Then there's also the exo and there's also, as you can see over here, actor armor CS1. That's not actually the one we want. We want to scroll through this file until we find CS heavy outfit. And then we're going to find the Bones Coef Protection, right? Actor Armor CS Heavy. We're going to copy this line. Just paste it right here. We're not going to mess with these other ones, the Control Inertia and Power Loss Hit Factor. Those aren't really too important. But we are going to look at the protections. Now, for these protections here, higher values are better. But keep in mind, they do vary in what they reflect in-game. You look over here in the Clear Sky file. For the CS Armor Heavy, even the shock protection gets over one, but that doesn't mean that it has the most shock protection possible. Now you can look and compare, of course, you can give this your own values, but it helps to have a couple examples to look at. You guys just want to follow along with me, I'm just going to give these some values that I want. So we're just going to kind of bump everything up. This was 0.36, we're going to make it 0.4. This is 0.7, we're going to make this 0.9. Radiation, we're going to add a 5 to the end of that, 0 0.025. Chemical burn, we will make it 0 0.2. 0 0.22, why not? Telepathic protection, we'll make that 0 0.05. Strike protection, we're going to up considerably. We're going to actually match it up with the clear sky one at 0.48. The explosion protection, we will add a 6.56. Wound protection will make that also 0.56, and fire rune will make that 0.46, just because. Now the immunities down here kind of work in opposite fashion to the protections. Lower values are actually better. The way these work, they effectively control the durability of your suit. What this actually reflects is the value of if you get hit with one of these types of damages, this is how much the suit is going to be affected. So what we're going to do here is we're going to compare to the values in the exosuit file. If you just want to follow along with me, that's quite all right. But I'm going to choose between either the nomad suit or the exosuit, which one is better. So the burn here at 0 0.025 is better. We'll keep that. 0 0.006 on the chemical burn is fine. Explosion, we will change this to 0 0.07. Fire wound, we will change to 0 0.007, 007. <laughs> Down to shock, we'll make that 0 0.018. For the strike, we'll make this zero. For telepathic, we'll also keep that at zero. And the wound, we will keep at 0, 0, 0.05. All right, everybody. So that's pretty much it for the parameters here. We're going to go ahead and save if you haven't done that already. The last thing we want to do is change the inventory name, inventory name short, and description. We're just going to append an underscore one to each of these fields, and then we will create those. So again, we can save this file. We are done here. We're going to go to the ST items outfits file. 
we will hit our control F, whether you're in Notepad or Notepad++, it's the same. We will search for Nomad. And there we go. So from this string tag to this string tag, we will copy, make a little extra space, and then we will paste it, make sure things are lined up. Then in the ID field here for both of these, we need to add the underscore one. From there, you can make whatever you want. There we go, that looks good. So we'll go ahead and save that file as well. And the last thing we need to do here is add it to Sidrovich's inventory. So this file can be a little bit complicated, but luckily you have me, so it's gonna be kind of simple. So we're gonna scroll through this and we're gonna look for armors, outfits and things like that. There's actually an armor section here. And what do you know, he already has the Nomad outfit right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna copy this line. We'll just copy it, add one, paste right there, and just add our underscore one, just like that. So it's that simple. We will save the file and ta-da. Okay, everybody, the last thing we need to do here is, of course, test stuff. So we have our mod folder here, our unbelievable Nomad Stalker suit there. We're gonna copy the game data folder and we're gonna go to our Anomaly 151 install. We're gonna paste this here. I already have my files in here, so I'm gonna overwrite, don't worry about it. Now we can launch the game and get right in there. Something to keep in mind too, if you are editing anything with the traders, you will want to go and do a new game or, well, I mean, you could go into an existing game and refresh trade inventories, but the reason I mention that is because I spent the last 30 minutes thinking I did something wrong when I actually didn't. So to check if we actually made the outfit correctly, we're gonna go to the debug menu, hit F7, go to the item spawner, oops. We're gonna hit outfits medium, and look for, yes, on freaking believable Nomad Stalker suit and a regular one. So we're gonna take the regular one, add that to our inventory so we can do a little comparing. Now we're gonna go down to stupid Sidrovich. Hey, you jerk, do you have my suit? Let's check it out. Ha, look at that, two Nomad Stalker suits. And this one is only 4,500. Thank you for doing business. Okay, so let's put on our Nomad the original one and let's look there's our unfreaking blue well, as you can see the resistances are all a lot better well, here is an anomaly field let's see what happens if I just run clean into an anomaly with the original stalker suit ouch Heh, <laughs> silly me I forgot to turn off God mode from the last time okay let's try this again Ooh, that one hurt okay yeah that took out a chunk of my health Let's do it again. Oh! Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm really dying and my suit took a little bit of damage too. Let's trade suits. Alright, I'm gonna heal myself up a little bit and do the same exact thing. So now we have on our new suit. Okay, quickly. Oh! One more time. Oh! Whoa, check it out. We're actually like not even that hurt. We were down here before. And the suit still had 100% condition. I think that's a success. Okay. I went and found some bandits. I'm gonna wear the original stalker suit. And let's see how much of a beating I take. Ow, damn it. Ouch. Let's let this guy shoot me a couple more times here. Oh, is he going to actually kill me? Is that a shotgun? Okay. Well, so I was actually pretty damn close to death right there. And my suit is down to 86%. Yikes. Let's try that again with our upgraded suit. I don't know how many times I got shot, of course. You know, it was kind of a uh, loosely defined test. Oh! What is this, the frickin' Matrix? Can you not hit me? Okay, that guy actually shot me a shit ton. I'm bleeding really, really badly, so I probably got hurt more than I did the last time. And, uh... I should look at my suit. <laughs> it barely even took a scratch. Well, even though that's kind of a ridiculous little playtest, the best way to test it would be to, well, you know, play the game. But I think you guys get the point. 
We got our suit. We made it absolutely buff as hell. Made it very cheap so Sidorich wouldn't scam the shit out of us. And it actually holds up in a fight unlike the original Nomad Stalker suit. Alright everybody, that will be a wrap for this one. I hope you enjoyed and now you'll be armed with even a little bit more knowledge. Now you can edit outfits. Anyways, peace out. I'll catch you on the flip.